Welcome back to another video. I'm excited. This summer, our teens, our youth, have the opportunity to go to a summer camp, but they all need to raise 100,000 pesos, which is about $25, in order to pay for their um, housing and food at the camp. And then we're also raising money as a church for the buses. And so on Saturday, we have a garage sale. And yesterday, a mom and a couple of teens came and helped us organize. So we've got socks and shoes together. Um, these are actually what we had lining the aisle at our wedding. We kept one, but then we've got two little frames that we're donating. And just all sorts of stuff that we've got organized. And so hopefully we'll be able to bring in money. And whatever we bring in on Saturday, we're going to divide between all of the teens who are helping and that way they will get a portion of their 100,000 pesos covered as of this Saturday. Um, I'm also donating some earrings that I sell. But yeah, lots of things. And then we're going to have a silent auction for some of the bigger items like these blankets and a huge pack of diapers that Eliana no longer needs. And so just all sorts of things that we'll do a silent auction for. And then also have just clothes and things for sale. Organizando, alistando. Tenemos cosas allá para la venta de sal. And so it's also Thursday, which means I'm getting tea and coffee ready and getting things ready just for Bible study and prayer tonight as well. La palabra. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday to you. Garage sale prep part one. Here we go. Step two, organize tables. I'm getting some of it ready while Andres is on a call. And hopefully it'll be ready before tomorrow. We've got the garage sale all set up. Landy and Daniel are making some sandwiches to sell as well. And we've actually got some youth out putting flyers up in the neighborhood. But we've got all sorts of clothes. These are all used clothes. Um, we've got some used, some new kids clothes, lots of toys, some new clothes as well. We've got... In addition to all of the stuff that we have set prices, we're also doing a silent auction for some of the bigger items like blankets. This is a set of pillowcases and a cover, a little blanket for a child, some awesome packs of really thick socks, a cowboy's thermos, some size three diapers that Eliana doesn't need anymore, some brand new shoes, a necklace, my old Fitbit. So some of the nicer items we have set up here for a silent auction. And then everything else has like a set price. And obviously if they buy a set of things, we'll lower prices and things like that too. But we are set and ready to sell. Así eres tú. Mi Dios, así 
Milagroso, abres caminos, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas. Milagroso, abres camino. All right, we just got home from ministry, garage sale. We always show you guys the fun and exciting part, but man, there are days when we get to the end of the day and we are just white. I'm exhausted. We're hungry. I'm currently making rice and eggs because it's something quick and easy and is sustenance. But let me tell you, ministry is, is a sacrifice at times, and it's good to remember and to pray for your leaders in your churches and understand that at the end of the day, they get home and they're emotionally, mentally exhausted, but they still need to serve their families. And that's where we're at right now. We are emotionally mentally, physically exhausted, but our family is who needs us now. And so now we're trying not to give our leftovers to our family, but we're trying to find strength where we don't have any. And that's where we have to go back to God and say, all right, God, we need you. We need you now just as much as we needed you when we were teaching the youth just as much as we needed to do when I can't even talk. That's how tired I am. Oh my God. It's good. Just as much as we needed to do when we were praying for the garage sale, which by the way, went, I can't even believe how good it went. At first we were nervous that nobody was even going to show up, that there were, weren't going to be any sales. No, no. God came through. And I think we had about 13 kids helping out, and we made like 700,000 pesos. I will put the equivalent to what that is up here. But the gist of it is, each kid roughly took home, they didn't take it home, it's staying at the church, but for helping out, for serving, for inviting people, for selling sandwiches, for selling candy bars, for helping out with the garage sale, collecting money, organizing the things, cleaning up, setting up. All of those kids that helped out have about 50,000 pesos to put towards their summer camp. And all they have to do is raise 100,000 pesos each. So those kids that helped out today are halfway there. And I can't even believe, like, God is just so good. And we were able to help them raise that money. And now we're home. And we're going to have rice and eggs and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna breathe and love on our daughter and be thankful for the amazing day that we had and praise God for all of the people who came and for his provision and try to find that strength where it doesn't exist and where is that in God because that's that's all we got so we love you guys Today was garage sale number one. I don't know what else we're going to do to try to help these teens raise the funds they need, but it was a hit. I'm going to leave you guys with this video. We love you. Thank you for keeping us in your prayers. Thank you for praying for these youth and for the summer camp that we are planning. We are just hoping and praying that it touches hearts and lives. We love you guys, and we will see you on the next video del rey de Josafat se puso en marcha con su pequeña banda de cantantes a la cabeza los de que él está de nuestro lado como lo estuvo con el rey Josafat aquí hay un pequeño secreto cuando te enfrentes a algo difícil como una batalla o un pueblo 